create a standard of intentional time where your heart, at least in all of the doing outside of your heart, can have five minutes. Welcome back to Mulligan Brothers. Today's video, as always, was sponsored by Huel. I'm drinking Huel Black Edition, which has 26 vitamins and minerals, 35 grams of protein and slow release carbs to make sure that I can stay satiated and proteined up whilst I make these documentaries. If you want to find out more about these, go to the link in the description. I'll talk about them a little bit later on in the video. I think our audience is the business side. You know, they are the a lot of them are quite successful or on the journey to be successful. Yeah. But the happiness element I would say is missing due to not having that spiritual alignment. Where would they start? Here's what I, what I tell. I had, a, I had a client. She was, uh, she has a, um, you know, I was on a call with a lady who has a business, like $15 million. Um, and she was like, I have the husband. I have the kids, I have the money and everything, but I just feel like something is missing. And we're about to go back to this conversation. And I was like, what did you used to love to, by the way, she, her shoulders were sunken in like this. What did you used to love to do as a child that brought you the most joy? She said, I remember I used to love to dance. And then she literally shifted right before my eyes, thinking about what she used to love to do. And I was like, when was the last time you danced? She shifted again, 20 years ago. And I did the same, mom, mom, mom. And I said, you tap into your, <laughs> it's like a spiritual umbilical cord to, to, to source energy to heaven. When you align the little kid inside of you, and alchemize it with the adult. That's where all your creativity comes from, the energy comes from, all these different things. Don't leave the little kid with the big ideas, the bigness. And so where I would tell somebody to start is once a week, for all the analytical people, schedule it. Find one thing that you can do that you used to love to do as a child that brought you the most joy. If you don't remember, ask somebody that was around during that time. What did I, what did I used to love to do? Oh, you used to love to play the guitar. I'm like, why did I stop? Oh, you had broken. We never bought you another one. It's because nobody paid attention. So the child then abandons the, then abandons the thing that they love to then focus on what everybody else where, where people pay attention to because energy goes where energy flows. So find one thing that you can do and take your little kid out on a self date, whether it's dancing, singing, swimming, um, doing visual arts, uh, uh, whatever the telescope at night, whatever, playing with Barbie dolls. But it used to bring you so much joy. Take five minutes. I'm not even going to tell you an hour. Like I do an hour. Take five minutes once a week and make it intentional. You're not an adult doing this. You're coming from the, the little kid inside of the adult. and Say, you know what? I'm taking my little kid and we're about to go skateboarding or we're about to go roller skating or we're about to do this. Give yourself five minutes once a week, once a week for 90 days. And I want you to pull out a journal and I want you to document and time stamp and time stamp every synchronicity that doesn't typically happen during those 90 days. And I want you to have a written record of all of the documentation and the time stamp and then connect the dots looking backwards. That is your little kid, that magical world of the inner you coming online. Now I want you to look at all those synchronicities together. And I'll, since you measure data and all this other stuff, you cannot grow what you don't measure. Measure what has happened and occurred in 90 days that doesn't typically happen simply because you took five minutes of present time to spend
spend with your inner child. Today's episode, as always, was powered by Huel. This stuff has been absolutely crucial to my training and the world record I just broke, the world's heaviest marathon where I carried 220 pounds for 28 miles. Yes, I achieved it, guys. It is done. This is what I was drinking, Huel Black Edition. It has 35 grams of protein, 26 vitamins and minerals and slow release carbs. And it's what I use in my training all the time. But don't just take my word for it. People like the hardest geezer ran across Africa drinking this stuff. It's absolutely amazing. And if you want to get exclusive offers and deals, go to the link in the description and you can find out more about their other products like their daily greens and their meals, which I eat every single lunchtime. Thank you to Huel for sponsoring the video and let's dive back in to the episode. Just to clarify this as well, what you're not saying is if you used to dance as a child, we're not talking about you pursuing that to be a professional career. No, I'm not telling you scaling yeah. it and getting click funnels. No, no, no. Yeah. This is specific time to give to your heart. The EKGs are the hardest, like most powerful frequency in the world. But we spend more time in our head. Out of the head into the heart. Can you have at least five minutes. I'm talking to a couple the other day. She was like, and I don't know. It's just like my husband. And I just feel like he doesn't see me and he doesn't hear me. And I'm like, well, let me ask you a question. I was like, if he goes a whole day without saying, I love you, what are you going to be thinking? Oh, I'm going to think there's something wrong. What if he goes two days? Well, I'm going to really question if he goes an entire week after saying, I love you every single day. She was like, well, then we're going to have to question the relationship. I said, so this makes sense to you, right? She said, yeah. So let me ask you this. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and said, I love you to yourself? And she goes, maybe like six years ago. I said, there's your answer right there. You're blaming somebody for something you haven't given to yourself. You can't hold somebody to a standard they don't even know exists because you don't even have standards for your own self. So what I'm saying is create a standard of intentional time where your heart, at least in all of the doing outside of your heart, can have five minutes some people right now, they're like, I don't know, man, because I got this. Would you ever look at your child and say, hey, you're not worth five minutes? Well, that's what you're doing to your own self. So now the spiritual aspect of yourself is rejecting. And that's the feeling that you're feeling because it's the little kid inside that feels rejected. And so you're perpetuating, manifesting the same thing through other people, what you're not giving to yourself and blaming it on other people. I told you guys that I was doing the world's heaviest marathon and I achieved it. It was 28 miles with 100 kilos on my back, 220 pounds. Then over the next 10 days, I ran an average of 40 miles per day with a 55 pound stone on my back. We achieved it. And so many people told me that that was impossible and that I wouldn't be able to do it. And that's why a lot of you guys have been donating to the cause because we achieved impossible. But somebody who supported me from the very get-go was Chad Robichaud. And with that, him and a company that he worked with, Vortex, who do Vortex Optics, who a lot of you guys probably know about, also have supported me on this cause. Vortex Optics have donated a Razor HD Gen 3 and a Impact 4000 Ballistic Rail Mounted Laser Rangefinder, which is like seven, dollars $8,000 or something together. If you donate $7, I believe it is, at mulliganrivers.com, which I'll link down below, you get a entry into the raffle to win those. And the money that you donate goes to the charity. So if that sounds like something that you want to do for our US audience, the link is down below. We're also giving away a Brass Monkey Ice Bath for our UK audience. It's a five pound donation. And again, it's at mulliganbrothers.com. All this money that we raise is going to help provide headstones for bereaved parents. 
And I cannot thank you guys enough. The mission is complete. We've taken the stone back, the 480 miles on my back, but the fundraising mission is still not complete. And I'm urging you guys to help us achieve this. I really, really want to be able to provide going forward indefinitely for parents who need headstones for their babies. Thank you to Vortex Optics and Chad for making this possible. Links down below. You are born looking like your mom and dad, but you will die looking like your decisions. I do not care how much money you have, how much influence you have. Are you actually happy?